My name's Christian Conradi and I'm a painter, South African painter currently living in Mexico City. I generally paint figurative work, so mostly people, um, but I tend to sort of combine that with, with, a, with an abstract sense that I get from working on, on abstract pieces as well. So I guess it's a combination of yeah, various, various sort of ways of thinking about painting. I think the reason I paint older people is that I just I find them more I find like there's more behind their eyes kind of they they give you um, a more complete story that you can then use and and um, adapt in whatever way you want. When I think of Mexico, I always think of colors. Like I think of those little flags, that the colorful flags they put on the streets. And I think in color when I think about Mexico, and I think a lot of those things, even though, I've, like I've said before, I don't paint Mexicans, or I don't you know, go down to Chiapas and paint indigenous people. Or an example of, of things that I've taken from Mexico, for example, would be those flowers, more specifically the paper flowers that people that the people sell in the markets and that they put in their ofrendas, like the little things to Maria de Guadalupe and this, those things. Espera, espera. Si va todavía. No, pero me tal vez apreciamos materiales. A ver si te puedo hacer el dibujo en la máquina para que la veas. I think there's this newest body of work that I've have on show now in, in San Francisco is a good example of the way that your location influences the work, or at least in my case. In the newest body of work, it's definitely I feel like I've taken a leap forward. I think like the work's become more interesting and I think, you know, con continuing to find my own voice more with each exhibition. Um and especially with this, the way that I think about constructing the work. So I sort of view it in, in layers almost. And I've been trying to think about how, how I could push that a little bit further. So with these new works, I've got some pieces that have neon lights in them. I've got the flowers. I've got various, I've got this one piece with um, helium balloons. So there are various ways that I'm thinking about adding sort of touches to the work with, but you know, still using the painting itself as the, the basis and the foundation for the, for the piece. I was walking in the street the other day and um, as I got sort of just around the corner from my house, I noticed this old man who I sort of, more like I felt him staring at me. And as I walked back, I glanced down to where he was sitting. And he just, he looked up at me and he said, Soy el creador de Santos. And I just remember thinking that moment, I never wanted it to be, but I think it is so. The title, The Saint Maker, well, the thing is, like, it's been a while now where I've started, instead of, so I'll use people that I know often, most often in my paintings, but I never, I don't use them as I know them. So I'll take them and I'll use the, the images to to create new characters and to create new stories behind these characters. So, and at the same time, I was listening to a lot of documentaries and like reading things about religion and the history of religion, especially like the main religions. You know, a lot of the, our our customs are just sort of reflections of ourselves or sort of man-made things because we create something out of out of the our need for it to exist. So, you know, it was sort of, I was thinking about that and then titling it The Saint Maker is kind of, I'm the one now, you know, I'm not, I'm not comparing myself to a God, obviously, but, you know, in terms of, of creating, like, all these new personalities and you can create whatever stories you want and you can sort of take in which, whichever direction you want. You can use the same person and create several stories for the same person. Dinamarca. 
y Escocia son equipos europeos y no combinaba en ese momento. My favorite word in Mexican Spanish. Pachanga. <laughs>